Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. My name is Shannon and we are in the fly bar this evening. The weather has still got us closed out. It is April. Can you believe it? April already. Today we're going to take a look at a new vice. If you're into fly fishing you'll know that fly tying is a part of that for a lot of people. Some people don't want to do it at all. Some people like to tie flies more than they like to fly fish. Um, I haven't been tying flies in a while. I got back on my vise and the jaws were worn out. So I decided to go shopping around for a new vise. And of course I went down the rabbit hole, but I came out with something that you guys are really gonna like. Came out of that rabbit hole with the Wolf Industries. They're out of Indiana. Uh, they're well known for their scissors and sharpening, scissors and devices and things like that but if you dig down in that website they have fly tying vices that they machine themselves here in the United States of America and we all like that now don't we this is the wolf atlas vice now the, the economics of fly tying used to not be balanced it used to be that you could if your time had value, it's still the same. If your time has value, you don't want to tie flies. If your time has no value, tying flies is a great way. If you're, if you're shut in, uh, if you uh, need some mental therapy, or if you uh, want to uh, have a great distraction during the cold, dark months. For me, it's, a, it's very therapeutic, and I've been tying flies for 17 years. What happened is my old vice, the jaws were worn out, and I started looking around, and the price of new jaws for my, what we call a steampunk vice, my friends adoringly call it that, the Dyna King, were so expensive that I was like, okay, let's shop a little bit more. Um, you will notice that the cost on vices, and on flies and everything on that end has skyrocketed. So the economics of that is that now it's worthwhile to tie flies because you're gonna save some money. That's one reason. The second reason is it's therapeutic, really. And the third reason, and gosh, they're not, you know, this may be the most important reason. You can tie flies that nobody else has or that aren't found in stores, and that's what I do. I concentrate on flies that are not readily available in stores. So uh, it gives me a little edge on the water, and I, at least a mental edge, because I think I have an edge. If you think you've got an edge, you've got an edge. So anyway, that's why I tie flies. That's the economics of it. The Atlas is a, the model by Wolf. Let me tell you a little bit about this vise. Everything on here is reversible. So you can, you can take all the knobs that are on this side, like this one right here and this one right here, and put them on the other side. This little knob right here that's used for turning, this is a full rotary, full rotary vise. That's what you want when you're starting out as a rotary vise because you gotta decide early on if you're serious about it or it's just a pastime that you might do every once in a while. I, get, I went all in 17, 18 years ago on a Dyna King that was like way beyond what I wanted to spend, but I never grew out of it. I just wore it out, uh, the jaws anyway. So this vise, I like the, I like the design, stainless steel, mach well machined, um, rotary, full on rotary, really simple action here for uh, actually uh, clamping down your, your fish your, your fly hook right here in, in the jaws. These jaws are pretty fine. It says on the uh, website and information for this 7-0 hook down to 32s. And I believe it, because that point is very, very fine. And so you can of course make an adjustment here and up and down right here like this. Oh, that's interesting. Or leave it like it is. Just remember the rotating is so you can work on it like this, rotate it around, work on it like this. So you don't have to take the, the fly out of the vise and turn it over to work on it. Very critical, I think. And a lot of guys, if they, they cheap out on a vise, they get sick of the, all the work that it causes them to have to do and they'll quit. So I see a lot of guys that just buy a $40, $50 vise. The inflation is tough, okay? This is a $320 vise now. Um, you know, I, I'd say everything's gone up $50 to $100 since 2020. Um, because of everything we've been through, you know, 
and uh, some of it's gone up a couple hundred. Like if I was, getting, you know, a new Dyna King, like I have, is doubled. It's roughly doubled in price to a seven, eight hundred dollar deal. So it's way beyond my my imagination. When I've got the Dyna King, I just need the jaw, the right jaws. This this only has one set of jaws, which is great because uh, it'll handle everything. And you don't change them out. The Dyna King Barracuda that I have, you have to change them out. The differences between this and the next step up, you're generally getting about a, a, a hundred dollar price point change in increments. So there's a two hundred dollar devices, three hundred, four hundred, and five hundred. Wait, well, really? They skip five hundred. They go from four to six. So it's a tough it's a tough climb. When you make your decision, know before you pull the trigger whether you're going to be tying flies a lot or tying flies a little what size flies you're tying. I got a smaller vise here because the Dyna King Barracuda is a huge vise and I wanted something I could work my hands around and get my hands around it to work on smaller flies that I do. And I don't do tiny flies, I just do smaller size eights, size tens, and maybe occasional twelves for carp. Okay, carp flies that come off the shelf here in Texas, they're tied for uh, Great Lakes carp, they're too big. Those flies are way too big right off the shelf. And I want to tie some flies this year for bluegill and stuff like that, a little uh, sunfish and things. So I'm, I'm kind of getting interested in that, going small. Great vise, the differences. You move up to the higher end vices, they actually have bearings in them. So this, this vise um, has Delrin uh, sleeves and um, Teflon bearing, what they call Teflon sleeves and Delrin bearings, which are, it's all, synthetic there's no bearings in here it, those those last a long time but they're not as smooth as a, a real honest to goodness bearing so that's that's what that's all about um, you know that's the trade-off the bearings have to be pressed into the body here um, I'm gonna do another video going over all the pieces and parts we're gonna take a close-up look at this uh, here in a minute and I'll, I'll talk you through it and we'll, we'll just look at each and every part of this. And later on, there's another video coming on vices because we're breaking down the fly tying into small increments for beginners because I might be involved with some nonprofit agencies that are um, doing fly tying for uh, veterans. So that's why I'm doing this. But this is for you guys, 325 bucks basically, Wolf Industries. This is a good value on a vice. Uh, right in the middle of the road, right in the middle of the price point. Um, nice head, and the machining is great on the base, on the, on the actual clamp on the base. I mean, you can <laughs> you can hear the greatness. <laughs> I mean, it's really great stuff. Very heavy base for the size. I'm never satisfied with the bases. This one I am pretty satisfied with because it's pretty darn heavy for its size. I, it must be a, a high density hardened steel or something. It's, it's so heavy. But anyway, there's your look, and this is the Atlas by Wolf Industries. Great vice, great price. Um, you, if you're wanting to go better, but not necessarily go all the way to eight, six, eight, or a thousand dollars, this is a good, good vice. And you know, I, I originally found these guys because they make the greatest clamps in the world. But you know. Through, uh, through the changes in uh, industries and uh, they quit making these. So I've got a rarity right here in this uh, wolf um, clamp for clamping vice. So this is, a, this is a base. This is an exotic clamp, not made anymore. But you can get either choice. So you can clamp it on the side of your table or you can set it on top with a heavy base. I prefer the base because I can move it backwards and forward and around. I find that a clamp is too close to me it's too hard to work right here. I'd rather work at something out here. All right, guys, that's it. The Wolf Industries out of Indiana, USA made, machined, vice, the Atlas. Be sure you go take a look. There'll be a link down in my uh, description. And stay tuned for some more videos on vices. Let's go, let's take a closer look at this vice. Okay, so the parts of a vise go like this. This is the stem of the vise. This is the base. This is where you, the basic machinery on this vise of where it clamps into this stem. 
and this is your knob for turning the vise if you need to. You can really wrap fast if you actually are doing both at the same time, but a lot of people don't bother to do that. This is a, a tensioning uh, knob back here that supposedly tensions this as it turns. This knob right here, it's, it, it's not really a knob, but anyway, it, 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 go, it can go here on the back side or on the bottom. So I just put it there because I like to be able to just do this real easy. But um, you can position that. There's a hex key uh, holds in here, screws right in there and there and there. And you just take one out, screw that in, and then screw it into the, the hole you took it out of. Done. This right here is a... Uh, spring for holding any like long feathers or anything you have that you want to get out of the way you just push it back into here and, and just slide it into that spring and it holds on to it that machining on this is really smooth really nice and smooth um, the grip on on the locks is just killer tight just really really good now over here get down to the meat of the matter here's how you tension your you turn this to tension in your your actual um, hook into the vise. So what you do basically is you're gonna get part tension on it like this, and then you're gonna go in, put the hook in there, and you just want it to turn just up to about right there to get full tension. And, and a good way to test it is when you get it on there, um, and you think you've got a tight, just ting on the, I call it ting, I call it ting. Ting on the eye of the hook, and if you hear a little ding sound, that means it's in there tight. This other, these other adjustments, let me just show you. Let's see if I can get this around like this and move it over this way. Hopefully it'll be in focus. This can be moved over to this side. This can be moved over to this side. Of course, this is this part over here, I just showed you fully adjustable at 90 or 45 degree in increments right here, 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 and here. So that's how that works. The actual base mount right here is pretty cool. Um, so cool in fact that I ordered an extra one because I'm going to try to make a different kind of base for myself that I'm kind of working on another invention so anyway that's that's what that's all about but this is the this is your your actual adjustment for the actual size of the hook simple stuff you just you just get it down there and clamp it down and this is loose because I got it loose right there okay clamp it down and you're on these, these are really fine point, and that's one of the reasons I selected this. Nice fine point for doing small hooks. Like I said, they say 7 to size 32. If you've ever seen a 32, you had to wear glasses to see it. That's all I can say. That's a tiny, tiny hook. And, you know, fresh water, what we're doing here in warm fresh water is usually anywhere from a size, I don't know, maybe a size 1 to a 8 or 10. And warm fresh water. Now cold water, you get up in the 16s, 18s, and 20s. But that, you know, I'm a long way from there. Okay, guys, that's it. Atlas, great vice, great price, made in the USA, well machined. It's a brand new vice, so I'm gonna have to put it through the paces, of course. If anything happens, I'll let you know because I do honest to goodness reviews. And this vice came to me from Atlas at a pro deal price, just to let you know. And uh, I appreciate that. And we'll see you guys on the water. Thanks for watching this video about the Atlas Spice.